Hi guys, this is lesson number 65 from our Corel RAW training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to export our Corel RAW document to PDF. PDF is log file that most of the time we are using for printing purpose or for desktop presentation. Creating PDF from Corel RAW file is very simple and easy. There is a two way you can export your document to PDF. Click on File, Save As. I will give location. To save this file on the desktop and here is save as type once you will click on this drop down you can check here PDF adapt portable document format if I will click it here it gives option export only object on the page it should be check any object that's outside of your printable area outside of the page that will not be a part of PDF so this is what exactly we need click on save once I will click on save you can see that PDF setting dialog box is open. I'm going to cancel. I want to show you the second approach. You can click here file and also you can go to the export and the shortcut key for export is control E from the keyboard. You can use control plus E. I will click on export and here PDF adopt portable document format is already selected. Export only object on the page and then click on export. PDF setting dialog box is open and we are in the general tab. Here under export range, current document is selected. If I will click on current page, any page which is displayed in our screen in Corel Draw, that will be printed. And if I will click here pages, I can give the range. Here we have one page. If you have even multiple pages, you can type here. Let's say we have 10 pages and I want to print the first page, then third page, then maybe the sixth page. So here we can give the range this way. One, you can separate with a comma and then another page, comma, this way. You can assign the number of the specific pages. So Corel Draw will export that document to PDF. Since we have only one page, so I can check current page or current document, it's the same thing. Under this here we have a compatibility. You can click on this drop down and choose the lower version of Acrobat Reader. So what is the advantage if someone in the printing press or in the advertising company is having older version of Acrobat Reader, still he will be able to open your file in Acrobat. So I will choose nine. The next one is color. Use document color setting. It should be enable. And under this we have output. Output color CMYK. In your case, it might be RGB. So you can click here and choose CMYK for printing purpose. If you are preparing for desktop presentation or for website, you can choose RGB. RGB colors are fluorescent color, shining color, and for printing purpose, you will not use output color RGB. You might get unexpected result. CMYK color, these are the matte solid color and you will use for printing. Make sure preserve document or print and always our print black is checked. Next is document. Here is the username. And under this here we have include hyperlinks and generate bookmarks. This time it is not important but if you are going to export your document to PDF for web, you can check this. Once you will open your PDF file, any link for the website you have given, PDF file will be having ability to open that website in your browser. For now we don't need, we need to uncheck object. Compression type you can give here JPEG compression and make sure the quality is high. The rest thing leave as it is. And here we have compressed text and line art. And under this we have uh, export alt text as curve. This is very important. If it is unchecked, the font you use in your Corel Draw file, if the other person in his computer doesn't have that font, PDF file might show missing font once they will open the PDF file. So you need to make it sure that export alt text as curve is checked. The next is prepress and here is the bleed limit. We have our bleed limit 0.3 that is uh, 3 mm and make sure that the crop marks is checked so you can see in your PDF underscore T here we have open password. You can give password once someone will open this file it required password and there is a permission password permission for printing and editing. If both checked here you need to assign open password in both field and then you need to set your permission password 
open password and permission password must be different. I am not going to set any password this time and then click OK. Once you will click OK, your PDF document is ready. I will minimize and you can see here this is my file. I will double click to open. Now our PDF file it is open. You can see the crop marks and from here this is our bleeding but once they will print and trim this document it will be trimmed from this crop mark vertically this way and horizontally from this crop mark. So this is how simple it is. This way you can export your Coral Draw file to PDF. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.